Hi everyone, so I'm coming to you all today to do a video about um, sleep. It's been a much requested video. I've been getting a lot of messages in my inbox about um, speaking about my weight loss progress um, and my journey into fitness. I'm also coming to you all with this matte red lip. Um, it's a new trend, a new to-do in the makeup world, the matte red velvet lips. We will see how long that lasts. I don't think they'll last long throughout this video because I am a lip gloss kind of chick. I like my lips to be boom, in your face, not like, you know. Anyway, but I've been getting a lot of requests in my Facebook inbox about speaking about my journey into fitness. Um... It comes from a variety of women of different ethnicities, cultural backgrounds, different weights, and I am just doing this video not as a doctor, not to give you professional advice because in no way do I have those qualifications, but to um, just speak about my experience and really hope that it helps someone. So I'm going to speak about that moment where you know you need to make a change. Just yesterday, my boyfriend was speaking to his niece and telling his niece that um, he would tell me how I needed to lose the weight and I wouldn't listen. I'd be stubborn and tell him I'm comfortable with where I'm at. I'm happy with where I'm at. And I had to reply and tell him that you can't tell someone who's overweight that they need to lose weight. They need to come to that conclusion themselves. Um, a person who's overweight may not be as yet ready to lose that weight. They may not be in a mental place or position where they feel, okay, I can do it now. Um, it may be an area of comfort for them. It may be a comfort zone. And at that stage, when I was 180-something pounds, I was honestly comfortable with where I was at. Because I was fed up of going back and forth. I was fed up of all the uh, trauma of losing weight and gaining it back. And, you know, I, I just wanted to be me for a moment. I wanted to forget about my weight and just exist. However, I had a moment where I knew I needed to do something. Not for aesthetic reasons. Not for looking good reasons but for health reasons and when you decide to lose weight it will be because of that moment that moment that confronts you where you know i need to do something for myself i need to better myself and my moment is a very touching and vulnerable story that i don't speak about often unless you're my good friend some of my good friends know it and that's just a handful or my family, but I'm going to put it out there and, um, yeah, it's just, I'm going to put this out there because I hope really that my experience will help someone. So at my heaviest, I was probably between 183 pounds to 185 pounds. Um, I'm 5 foot 3, so that is considered obese at that weight. I remember that it was 2011 and I audibly heard my body clock go audibly, like literally ding, 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 ding. And something told me that I needed to go and check my reproductive system. Now, I spoke to my best friend at the point in time um, and I told him that I think something is up with my facility. I don't know why. No reason to believe so. Everything was still running as usual. But I felt something was strange. So he was like, nah, everything is cool. You just worry. You have children in your 30s and 40s. I was like, no, let me go and get a check. When I went to get the check, I had, I discovered at a gynecologist that I had PCOS. And she told me, you need to lose weight. And you need to, um, think about having a child sooner rather than later because this can cause complications further down. So with that I lost about 
10 pounds, so I was 175 pounds, still overweight, and I spoke to my partner, and we proceeded to try. I mean, if I'm telling this story. Anyway, the first pregnancy, I lost the baby. To cut a long story short, the second pregnancy, and this is, by the way, with fertility meds, so you've seen this whole sex couple of drama that's going on. Um, that is a rare situation. I want to stress that to Mr. Fuad Khan. That is rare. With fertility, I was having one, and I was losing it. And the reason I was losing the pregnancy was because my hormones were not in a position that would allow me to maintain a healthy pregnancy. Being so overweight caused the insulin resistance, which in turn triggered the PCOS, which in turn triggered my ability to to have the home to maintain a healthy pregnancy. And then that's when I realized that was the moment I needed to do something. If I ever wanted to have the choice of having a child, because you could have a choice not to have that child, not to have a child, but no one should take away your choice for you to have a child. And I wanted to have that choice to be full time, um, whether I choose to have or not, a child or not. And that's when I decided, if I ever want to have a child, a hope of a family, making a, a, a mini one o with my partner, um, I needed to lose the weight. And not just lose the weight, but live a healthy lifestyle with exercise, with proper eating, um, just being healthier on the whole. So, with that, I got serious. I made several changes to my life. I, anyway, videos about health. But I decided to get serious and lose the weight. So my question to you is, what will be your moment? Will your moment be when you step on the scale? Will your moment be when you try to put on that dress from 2011, 2010, and it could barely squeeze on you? Will your moment be when, for me, you lose something that you wanted so much and so dearly? Uh, when you have that moment, you will know you need to make a change. Don't let anybody force you into making that change. I mean, I hope your moment doesn't come too late. I don't want your moment to come when you have a heart attack or you find out you have PCOS or you are diabetic. I definitely don't want that to be your moment. I hope your moment comes before that. But um, that was my moment, and that's when I knew I needed to make a change. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about some things I discovered while on this journey, because it is a journey and it's a lifelong journey. I want to talk about some key tips and key things you need to know on this journey to health. So stay tuned. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to make that next video now. So hopefully I'll post it up around the same time. But I love you guys, and just as God, I wish I could prosper and be in good.